Hello, my name is Jason Mercer. I'm the Toronto Real Estate Board Senior Manager of Market Analysis. So with July complete, I'd like to take a few moments of your time to go through the most recent housing market statistics as it relates to sales and listings through the Toronto MLS system. And so in July, we saw almost 9,200 transactions entered through the Toronto MLS system by TREB members. And this result was up by about 10% in comparison to July 2013. Now it's important to note that we saw year-over-year -year sales growth for most major housing market segments. And so this points to the fact that there are a lot of households in the greater Toronto area looking to take advantage of affordable home ownership opportunities. Now the supply of new listings was also up in July, but it's important to point out that the growth rate that we saw on a year-over-year -year basis was less than what we saw for sales. And so what this means is that market conditions actually got tighter over the last year. Put another way, we saw more competition between buyers in the marketplace in July 2014 in comparison to July 2013. And generally speaking, when we see more competition in the marketplace, that leads to strong upward pressure on the average selling price. And that was certainly the situation in July, with the average price coming in at $550,700 for all home types. And so that represented a 7.5% increase in comparison to last year. Now it's important to remember that the majority of households in the Greater Toronto Area purchase a home through the use of a mortgage. And so when we're thinking about affordability in the GTA housing market, it's really important to think about what percentage of the average household's income is going towards mortgage principal and interest, property taxes and utilities. And right now, this year, we've seen that share accounting for about 35 to 36 percent of the average household income in the GTA. And while this share has crept upwards over the last couple of years, it's important to note that it's still below the 39% ceiling mandated by the federal government when they tighten mortgage lending guidelines midway through 2012. And so what this means is that the majority of households in the greater Toronto area are finding affordable home ownership opportunities to take advantage of. And that's why we're seeing continued growth in the number of transactions through the Toronto MLS system. Now looking forward through the end of 2014, we will likely continue to see strong price growth, certainly well above the rate of inflation as market conditions remain tight. But it's important to point out that this strong price growth will be mitigated to a large degree by the continuation of low borrowing costs. And so with this said, that concludes our overview of the housing market through the end of July 2014. I look forward to speaking with you again next month as we go through the August results. Thank you very much. Brought to you by GTA Realtors.